Hello everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Wednesdays with Whitney. I'm Whitney and this is Shane Hefty. Hello, hello. <laughs> so Shane is a very good friend of mine. He also happens to be a financial planner and portfolio manager at Morgan Stanley and he also happens to be a phenomenal dresser. <laughs> Case in point, he came prepared for today, and we are gonna tell you all about men's style, all the things that you never knew that you didn't know, because I didn't know like most of these things. So, um, so I approached Shane a little while back and was like, hey Shane, you're always well dressed, can you please tell me how to tell guys how to look like this. So we're collaborating on this, but really he's the expert here. Uh, so, um, expert, but... yeah, you know, just someone who's very, very curious on the topic. Yeah. So Shane and I met, so uh, do you remember when we met? A uh, year ago. year ago. ago. Yeah. Actually, I think it was like last summer. It was last summer. Yeah, yeah. we met at a Lord Midas event. Um, so again, men's clothing. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Shane walks in, I'd never seen him before. And he's wearing like, I remember distinctly, you were wearing a pink, <laughs> Polo right. and green, like J. Crew shorts or something. It's very, and, very yuppie. Yeah, very, yeah, quite, very quite, yuppie, very yeah. yuppie outfit of you. Yeah. And then, like, some sort of loafer. Yeah. You're definitely yeah. wearing a loafer. Yeah. And I commented on how he was dressed, and he was like, Oh, I'm so casual. And I'm like, Dude, <laughs> that's not casual. I need you to know, like, that's not a casual look. So, like, I knew that this guy could dress himself. And then our next interaction was headshots. Yes. Yeah, that was probably, what was that? It was uh, last January. February? But January, February, February? Something like that. Totally. Right, right around this time. So Shane emailed me, and I was like, I think I know who that is. Like, we met that one time. Yeah. Um, and Shane walked in, like, so <laughs> over prepared. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that all these things could be brought to a headshot <laughs> session. So t tell me, Shane, like, when you were thinking about preparing for your headshot session, right. like, what were you gathering? What were you thinking about? Um, I was, I needed a new headshot for my business website. Yep. And so that needed to be more buttoned up and professional and yep. suit tied, very traditional professional. And then I also wanted a, uh, something more casual for social media. Yep. So no tie, open collar, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to kind of run the gamut of those things yeah. and see what worked out best. And we, we hit all those options. You'll be seeing that very soon. So when Shane came in, what really impressed me is that he had a couple different suit options. None of them were black, which um, anybody who's worked with me in the dude realm, I, I recommend that you don't bring a black suit because as you can see, my wall's black. So you literally blend in. Um, and then Shane will talk to you a little bit about the suit <laughs> options in a yeah. second. But he was so prepared. And every single time, Shane, I've seen you, you have literally been dressed impeccably. Oh, and that, that leaves an impression yeah. on me. Yeah. So um, we've talked a lot about the philosophy behind getting dressed in the morning yeah. and the idea of personal branding. Can you tell me a little bit about how your dress philosophy fits in with your personal brand philosophy? Yeah, um, with, with what I do, I, it, it's, it's very analytical and yeah. I be very, uh, pay attention to details. So if I meet somebody new and ask me what I do and I tell them and they don't run away, <laughs> and I, 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 I want them to see me and know that, okay, this guy, very much pays attention to the little things yeah. and looks the part of what he does for a living. Yeah, and I think that's so key. We all, in whatever we do in the world, I think it's so important to dress for yeah. that job. Right. I remember in high school, my mom, you know, like in high school you want to wear sweatpants, right? That's like <laughs> a thing. Um, I was not allowed to wear sweatpants or anything casual, anything less right. casual than jeans. Like no sweatshirts, mm -hmm. no even like cute zip up ho hoodies. Like right. it had to be a shirt because my mom said, dressing for school is your job and you will right. treat dressing for school like your job. So that has, that's right. been like one of those things. Like it's dressing for the occasion. Dressing for the occasion, and one of the things you said, I'll let you say it, um, the, can you, you know what I want you to say? Uh, I think so. <laughs> the coming and going. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my idioms, I guess, is um, you should always be dressed like where you're going to or coming from is more important than you, where you are currently. Right. Um, and that just means that you're never, you're, you're not necessarily overdressed, but mm -hmm. you're not, you're definitely not underdressed. Yeah. And I have had that experience sometimes where I'm like, oh, I'm out and I have to stop by someplace and I'm not appropriately dressed for whatever it is. And I have that moment where I'm like, eh, yeah. like maybe I shouldn't go. Um, and then I've had moments where like, I start my day at seven at a networking meeting that probably is casual, but I know at 8 p.m. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a, a fancy like dinner party. So I'm dressed at 8 p.m. or at 7 a.m. like I am at 8 p.m. So I might look weird at 7 a.m. But and, and it's um you know it's a good conversation starter. Yeah. Uh, because How'd people you get dressed? Have, you know like well, well, you're you're dressed up for this like what, what what's going on? And yeah. You can tell them well I I came from this or whatever. Yep. Uh, and it's a good icebreaker. You can talk to people. Exactly. Love it. So one of the things Shane's going to help us do today is really go through a list of kind of, if you're a dude, what are the essential items that you should have in your closet just to have those go-to looks. Right. So I'm going to be Shane's Vanna um, <laughs> and show you all of these things. Um, and so we can, we can have these conversations. First. Actually, the first one is on Shane's body currently. So navy suit, this is blue, but blue. like, I mean, blue it's family. Blue, blue family. Blue family. It's, it's in the navy family. So tell us about why you should choose a blue family suit for your suit option. Yeah, um, it's a lot more versatile. Mm -hmm. um, black suits, in my humble opinion, are for funerals and for like, limo drivers. Yeah. So it's, it's very, it's pretty formal um, and doesn't really give the same kind of uh, professional or more serious vibe that, that they were too serious, I guess would be yep. one way to put it. Um, and so it, it just is a lot easier to put together. More colors softens go with Softens the edge it. a little bit. Softens the edge. <laughs> uh, a lot, like pretty much everything goes with blue in terms of right. colors. So more options with ties, more options with uh, shirts and, and, and so on. Yeah. So. And we think a lot that like, oh, a black, shoot, uh, black suit is going to go with everything. But I find that... I it, it just it's what you would expect and I think that when you I see I see a lot of guys in gray suits too and I love that option yeah, because it just like brings a little light to your face also I hear that navy is the new black I don't know where that came from is it? I, <laughs> I think I, it is I, let's, I, let's pretend for this we'll, sake we'll, that we'll, navy we'll is the new black we, just made that up. Uh, we totally made that up but we should ask like I don't know somebody in Vogue um, so, um, I want to segue into the thought of tailoring really yes, quick, because this yes. is something you and I both feel passionately about. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so, tell me about tailoring. Um, I, I tailor pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, my jeans, shirts, dress shirts, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm a short, stocky guy, and if I don't do that, I look like I'm wearing somebody else's clothes. <laughs> And yes. uh, I look shorter and stockier than I actually am. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, 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 having clothes fit properly mm -hmm. uh, hide a lot of uh, a lot of sense. Well, and I think <laughs> that that that's what I think people don't understand about tailoring right. is that proper fitting clothes actually make your body look better. Even right. if you're like, hey, I'd love to hide some things, hiding is actually, like wearing something baggier doesn't actually hide right. your physique, it draws attention exactly. to the bad things. So when you're coming to see me, like please, just wear the thing that fits the best. Even if it's just like a little, like you think it's like tighter than you would normally wear, like it's better. Like I, I, I tell all my women, like don't wear those baggy blousey shirts that we feel really comfortable in. Wear the ones that fit your body because I can totally like squish you in on the side a little bit if you need it. But like if you're wearing a tent, like that's like a whole problem. Exactly. Dudes, um, length of jeans is like it is it is my like pet peeve in life like <laughs> if you have shorter legs which like people do it's fine yeah. get them hemmed just like makes you look make taller it, it makes you look taller oh and you we'll get to we'll get yeah, to that you'll, option you'll see my, um, how short my pants are <laughs> how short my pants are right there's a there's a flood so um we're going to talk about shirts. So to go with your beautiful navy suit, right, we right. have two shirt options. Now, one of these goes yeah. and one of these doesn't. So this is this is this, our this, this is a proper dress shirt. Proper. Um, it's a I, it's it's a button down collar, which I wear this one casually, but I, I'm normally like this. Mm -hmm. um, a button down dress shirt can be worn with jeans, a suit, anything you need. Very casual. Um, and the other option is a Oxford button down shirt, yep. Oxford cloth. Very very casual. Yep. Um, so these are very versatile because you can dress them up, dress them down. If you press this and starch it, it, it can look just as good as this one. Yep. When you were telling me about the lengths. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, one, one key, if you can see this, the dress shirt is a lot longer than the casual shirt. So this is meant to be tucked in. That's why, it has, that why, that's why it has the longer hem. And so when it's tucked in, that means it looks good. Yeah. Um, you know, if, it, if it's untucked, it looks like you're wearing a tunic. Uh, and that's probably not the vibe you're going for if you're wearing any sort of button-up shirt. 
Right. So I thought, I didn't know that. Um, actually, say, Shane's taught me quite a few things. <laughs> um, so that's, that's a huge difference. Is like when a guy's wearing a shirt and it like feels long, it's probably because it's literally cut to be tucked in. So, and hi, Carla, you're in Europe. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, Carla. Um, thanks for watching. Um, so, next thing on our list um, are our shoes. Right. So, um, Shane's definitely winning the shoe competition today, um, but we're going to take a little look down. No, no, no Winston, though. No Winston. Where's Winston? Ow. Oh. <laughs> buddy's, buddy's sleeping. Um, so, here are our shoes. Uh, look at Shane's, though. Right. So, tell us a little bit about how you should pick out your shoes. Like for, for dress shoes, any sort of dress shoe, you should pick something that is a very classic and um, isn't going to go out of style. Mm -hmm. And spend some money on them. Don't, don't yeah. be afraid to spend a couple hundred bucks on them. The, with men's shoes, especially dress shoes, the more you spend on them, the longer they'll last. Yeah. And uh, you can get them resold. Yes. Um, there's a place in Valley Junction, I think a shoe and luggage repair, mm -hmm. that'll resold them for like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, so you can keep the, keep the shoes for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's more of an investment, and um, you know, keep it classic. Don't do trendy things. Yeah. This, <laughs> Especially know, if you're investing. Right. Like you, I always think like the things that I'm going to wear for 20 years, maybe not 20, like 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 five years. Five years. Yeah. Like let's hope in five years I can fit into certain things. Right. Like the things like shoes that you actually can wear for that amount of time. Yep. I spend more money on those or jackets like outerwear. Right. I will spend way more money on a really good jacket. Then I will on a shirt that I know I'm gonna wear every day, and it, like after a year, like I'm not gonna wear that anymore. Right, right, right. So, so um, but yeah, st stick with the classic style wingtips or just cap toe shoes. The, mm -hmm. you know, they have the seam on the front of them. Yeah. Uh, they've been in style for you know since the 1800s probably. Since we started wearing leather uh, shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's you know if odds are those you know, some form of them will still be in style and uh, learn how to shine your shoes. <laughs> uh, do it yourself, um, or at least have a very good you know somebody who can help you. Um, yeah. If, if, if they aren't polished, then you don't look polished. Right. Well, and I see those guys at the airport, and I'm like, and I was, I was tempted one day because I looked down at my boots, and like the the tips of my black, yeah. my beautiful black boots that I've spent money on are white. Right. And I'm like, right. what is happening here? Like, when did this happen? It's and I'm like, that's smell. why those airport people exist. Yep. They're there to help. So our next thing. Oh, well, we're not waiting. Oh wait, no, we have we have these. <laughs> Oh, no, All we right. were going to talk about. Oh, undershirt. Undershirt. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. do that first. So, <laughs> one, of, one, of, one of my personal pet peeves is um, being able to see a guy's undershirt. Mm -hmm. uh, is it equivalent to seeing a lady's bra? Uh, sure. <laughs> I, guess. I, I might have made that up. But I, you know when you can see a girl's bra strap and you're like, what's that new one hanging out? Right. Unless it's one of those like purposeful things. I realize that's cool now. Right. And, <laughs> and, and, and the reason for that is, um, you know, it, I, I wear undershirts because I don't want to wreck my shirts that I'm wearing on top yeah. with sweat. Yeah. And so those get dingy, they get worn, and mm -hmm. again, if you're wearing a shirt without a tie and have the top button open and somebody can see a faded, dingy <laughs> white t-shirt, it kind of, you know, you can be dressed perfectly otherwise, but it kind of negates everything else you're doing. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, a deep V-neck uh, undershirt that's Way pretty form-fitting, but it's shorter in the sleeves so nobody can see it, it's undershirt, undershirt. Yeah. You should be able to see it. Hide that stuff. Hide it. Yeah. Hide it. <laughs> um, next thing. We've got our denim. Right. The denim. <laughs> Tell Dark. us about denim. Um, Dark denim. If you're doing business casual and they let you wear jeans, yeah. um, generally speaking, go with dark, dark jeans. Mm -hmm. Nice raw denim. Um, spend a little bit of money on them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very... If, Again, if, you if can wear them all. You can right. wear them tons, and you don't have to wear them all or wash them all the time right. either. Right, right. Jeans are meant to be beat up, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, if if you don't have to wear a suit every day, it's a it differentiates you from the people that are wearing uh, beat up and ripped jeans that don't have the same cachet. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time, you know, if you're if you're dating and single and whatnot, <laughs> a dark pair of jeans yes. goes very well with the aforementioned white. Shirt. Literally, guys, you can just show up in like and, dark jeans and a white shirt. You're and, fine, and you're you're gonna be fine. Yeah, uh, it's gonna it, it, it helps out in that respect too. It's very yeah. versatile. Uh, you can wear it with a t-shirt on the weekends or a, a sweatshirt, whatever. Yeah. I think a good pair of jeans is literally right. the the thing that every uh, female or male yeah. is something that you should all own. And when I found my my brand and my pair, I was like, so right. I'm gonna buy three of these now, and it's, I'm not gonna do this exactly, again. Exactly, exactly. And um, 
you know, keep keep them slim, not like yeah. skinny necessarily, but mm -hmm. slim. Yeah. Uh, because again, it's a little bit more tailored look. Mm -hmm. uh, and get them hemmed. Hem get your jeans. Hem. hem your jeans. I know that people think that like <laughs> je like jeans. Like, why would I hem those? I'm right. like, oh, just like right. do it. Like, just go do it. Make it happen. Um, so, ooh, the tie. The oh, gray tie. The gray tie. Yeah. Um, if uh, every guy should own one tie. And gray is a very versatile something. It, it looks good with for a job interview. It works for a wedding, a funeral, everything like that. You can yep. wear it with about anything. You can wear it with jeans, and you, you know, again, you can wear it with your white shirt and jeans. Yeah. So uh, my my philosophy to buying clothes is to make sure everything goes with each other because then I don't have to think about it. Yeah. Well, when we were talking about that right before this, like. I don't love shopping. Actually, it's like one of my least favorite activities, but I make a point that when I do shop, I get things that go with the rest of my wardrobe. And I have a pretty neutral color palette. Right. And then I don't think about it when I get up in the morning. I'm like, well, this gray jacket's gonna go with pretty much everything I own. So I'm just gonna work with that. Yeah, for, for, for people that know me, I'm pretty much in blue, blue mm -hmm. and white. And yeah. uh, then my ties and things like that of color. Well, and accessories are a great way. I always say I wear a lot of neutrals and then I have a pop of color either right. in like my jewelry yeah. or my lipstick, but like that's that's where I yeah. add flair. It's yeah, the easiest keep, place keep to add very, flair. Very simple that way. Yeah. Um, you have more fun with it too, really. And then pocket square? Oh, um, and you know, it, a pocket square is a great thing because uh, for the average guy that doesn't have a six pack, um, <laughs> it draws the attention upwards to the chest mm -hmm. and it is a way to add personality to a serious look yep. without um, with, without you know being gaudy or anything mm -hmm. like that. Well and it's like I, I think of it as the equivalent to like a lady's earrings like right. you're wearing your pocket square and right. that's your flair. Right. right. Yeah. And there's other ways to do it too um, like lapel pins and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of that but um, mm -hmm. there's lots of other ways you can do that. Add flair. Right. So um, we've got the gray <laughs> polo. So we're getting right. we're getting cash. Welcome casual. to cash. Right, so um, polo shirts, uh, everybody sh owns them. Don't not not golf shirts, not the uh, <laughs> yeah, no logos, not, not no logo. Well, yeah. there's a well, there's, there's a, a little, there's a little logo, but, but it's, I like uh, the penguin logo. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, the uh, uh, the thing with polo shirts, like uh, golf shirts, are the techie things with the Nike logo or whatever, or something that you got given away by the company mm -hmm. with the company logo on it. You don't need to wear other people's. They're brands. they're great for golf. <laughs> yeah, but they're golf shirts, so. Yeah. You know, a polo shirt is, is something more casual or, or again, business casual, jeans, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, and again, it should fit well. It should have sleeves down to your elbow and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So mm -hmm. uh, keep it in neutral colors to start with, grays, blues, etc., cetera, um, yeah. and keep it simple. But no because logos. these are a little bit low, lower priced items, like right. this is also, I think, a place to have a little fun. Right. Because you're like, well, a polo shirt, like maybe 40 bucks, like you can find them out there for that. Right. So you can get something like, in a fun green, if you want right. to try a color. Right. Um, ooh, next one. Item? Oh, yeah. Casual shoes. Casual so, shoes. Uh, Yay. I, I like to go with classic. Um, oh, we got a belt in here. Oh. I, I, I <laughs> Shane comes even, prepared. I didn't even know that was a <laughs> um, Love it. So I, I, I like casual sneakers that are. Oh, sort these of are Jack for Self for Converse. Yeah, yeah. So oh. Con Converse makes them. So cool. it's, um, I, I like these, they're a little bit different. They're basically yeah. like the Chuck Taylors, mm -hmm. but um, Jack Purcell is apparently a badminton player that was really famous enough to get his own shoes. Mm -hmm. so apparently badminton was big back in the day. Yeah, wow. Um, and uh, it has a little, little fun to it, it has a smile on the front oh, of the yeah. shoe. We match. But these look really good with jeans. Um, mm -hmm. If you're dressing down a suit, you can wear it with a suit. Mm -hmm. You can wear it with shorts. Yeah. You, can, you know, they're very versatile. I love them. Um, cool. They're cheap. They're like fifty bucks. Awesome. And then, last but not least, uh, I'm a little uh, sweater action. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of cardigans. Um, I wear them as coats. I get warm, um, and so it's a very good option to wear as a substitute to a jacket or something. Like I would that. say that this is a winter yeah, cardigan. Yeah, winter very winter casual, weight. kind of a oversized thing. But yeah. Um, and then a this summer is summer weight. Very. This is yeah linen yep. cardigan. Um, but yeah, I, I like them because it can be a substitute for a sport coat or a suit jacket. Um, it's a, something, a way to dress up what you're wearing a little bit yep. without making it over the top. Yeah. So and it's a good way to layer, things like that. Love it. It's like my, my so, blazer yeah. option here. So 
that is like 10 amazing things that you can add to your wardrobe and like this is like starting I'm actually gonna follow this post up with a blog post so that you guys can like dig deep into this Shane has written this beautiful post of like a lot of the things we talked about today well very eloquent um, and also some links to where you can find some of these options um, Shane you've done so much research of like hey where's the best place to buy shirts yeah I'm pretty um Due to the nature of my job, I try to not overpay for things. Yeah. <laughs> so so of I try premise. to try to find things that are good quality at reasonable prices that I yeah. you know, can stop. That are gonna last for a while. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So that'll be up, I'm thinking, later today, so you guys can follow up with us there. And Shane, thank you so much for yeah. coming and visiting no, me today. Fun. Yeah, so we're we're calling him our designated dapper dude. So um, <laughs> you'll be <laughs> right. I mean, nice. I, I I I'm working on it. So you'll be hearing a little bit from Shane every once in a while. We're gonna we're gonna bring him back. So yeah, it'll be fun. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.